Let's factor the equation x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. And we'll use these guidelines here to help us. So the first thing we want to do is to set up our skeleton equation. And that's going to look like this. Next, we can add the signs. If both of these are positive here, both terms are positive, we're going to put positives in after the x. Once we do that, we can find the factors for that last term, the 8 here, that should equal the middle term when we add them up. So if we think about 8, we could say 8 times 1, that equals 8. And how about 2 times 4? That equals 8. I think those are the only factors. So when we look at these, 2 plus 4, that equals the 6 there. So we can just put 2 here and 4 here. We should be done. We factored the equation x squared plus 6x plus 8. Let's go ahead and use the FOIL method, though, to check our work. So first term, x times x, that's x squared. Outside, x times 4 is 4x. Inside, 2 times x, that's 2x. And then the last term, 2 times 4, that equals 8. So all of this equals a 0 here. And if we have x squared, we can add the middle terms together, plus 4 plus 2, so 6x plus 8. That equals 0. That's the same thing we got up here. So we know we did that correctly. We factored this equation correctly. Let's take a look at the values for x here that will make this equation a true statement. All of this here equals 0. So we could say x plus 2 equals 0. And then x would equal negative 2. We could also say x plus 4 equals 0. So x would end up equaling a negative 4. If we put negative 2 in for x and we figured out the equation, all of this would equal 0. Likewise, if we put negative 4 in for x and we worked out the math, all of this would equal 0 as well. So that's it. We factored the equation x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.